Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at another edutainment game on the TRS-80 Radio Shack color computer. <clears throat> this particular edutainment game is called Taxi, as you can see here by the title for the manual. This was a game that I uh, had when I was a kid. <clears throat> and uh, it's amazingly simplistic by today's standards, but as usual, I had a lot of fun playing it as a kid, and it had um, sort of competitive and co-op, which I used to play with my sister and my parents, and it was uh, pretty fun, because you were racing to pick up passengers and drop them off and make money, and competing against uh, the other player. Uh, you could also do a, a co-op where you uh, together went for the most money, so uh, basically it would give you uh, a total for how much money that you made at the end and competitive was who made the most or if it was together you could compete together to uh, get the highest score as a team lame no <laughs> sorry that was evil of me um, so anyway that's the game in a nutshell but uh, let's take a look at the manual anyway these manuals kind of really overcomplicate things uh, they can make them a lot easier but uh, that's just kind of how they did it back then but so uh, taxi get behind the wheel of a taxi and drive through six different cities watch out for obstacles as you pick up and deliver passengers to the parent so the CCW they made a bunch of games another one I reviewed on uh, my channel here is peanut butter panic which was another one of my favorite games when I was a kid and uh, uh, that one was a co-op kind of thing too so uh, they that was really good that they thought about that that's kind of a new thing that parents really think about for the kids instead of all, you know having a winner all the time that these games are cooperative so they were ahead of the times as far as making co-op games for for kids as a parent I would highly support uh, these types of games these days so taxi, how are you going my way? If you are, you're going to like playing taxi. It's a game made just for kids like you. At the workshop, we think uh, that kids are special. Blah, blah. Okay. Setting up your TRS-80. <laughs> yes, kids are special. Okay, here's how you hook up your electronics and load your cassette tape and... Uh, type in these manual commands into the command line prompt <laughs> to load your cassette definitely educational I learned a lot using my computer and it's definitely a lot easier to double click a game on Steam or touch an icon on your iPad that's for sure uh, but besides playing the game I had to read manuals and figure out command line stuff on the computer just to play the game so that was useful I'd have to say and it was more often or not me uh, helping my parents with this stuff uh, as a six-year-old which was pretty interesting computers were just so new that new back then but I was really infatuated with them so I I just read up all this material everything that I could understand anyway there's a couple games that I couldn't understand there was um, uh, one I had which uh, I'll have to put a review up uh, called Biosphere and we'll see as an adult if I could actually figure that game out uh, let's see problems whatever play uh, last is, is time to step on the gas as any taxi driver knows your job will to pee, be to pick up and deliver as many passengers as you can but before you start you have some important decisions to make it's up to you to decide uh, to design a game that is right for you. You want instructions, which city, how many players, how fast, how much traffic, uh, how long will your game be. You're ready to roll when you answer those questions. So you're looking out for passengers. Little icon comes up with people. And you go next to them. They hop in your car. There's a little beep. And you drive them to their location. Shortest route. Mm -mm. 
stop at a red light or the police uh, pull you over and find you and take your passenger gets out. Um, score. If you take your passengers directly to their goals, you earn a big tip. If you wander around, tip will be smaller. Uh, but your total will be higher. I wonder how it balances out. Balances out. I think I remember driving around one passenger and then getting like a huge score. I wonder if that's what I did. I always found some sort of bug that annoyed uh, my parents when they were trying to do educational stuff with me and I would find a loophole in the game. But that was learning something, right? It really was. Um, now that you know how to play, hit the road. All right. Uh, caught mapping. Now that you know the cities from taxi, how well do you think you know your own neighborhood? Try sitting down with a pencil and a large piece of paper and making a map draw every street or road in the neighborhood. If you can, show the landmarks that make a good neighborhood. After you design your map, walk or ride your bike to test it out. Did you forget things? Add them now. When you think you got a good map, good enough to use as a treasure map, you can send a friend on a hunt. Oh, it'd be nice if um, you could have designed maps on this game, but I, I thought that's what they were saying. I was like, oh, I never knew that. But it's doing a treasure map. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it's giving you just educational sort of games here. I'm just leaving these here for a second. You can pause the video and read it if you like. And that's the end. All right, so let's take a look at Taxi. So the first thing we have to do is load from our cassette. This was on a cassette deck. So found Taxi, it's loading it up. And then we're gonna run. Cruise around the city, pick up a fare, ask where are you going, and drive right there. Watch it, there's traffic, red lights and curves. Driving a quick cab sure tests your nerves. So drive with skill and your tips will be high. From Dallas to Paris all the way to Shanghai. You want instructions? Uh, no. Let's get those. Load some more from the cassette. You had to be patient, especially as a kid, loading these cassette games. All right, where should we go? Um, I hate driving around New York, so let's do San Francisco. How many players? One. Taxi speed fast. Let's do some heavy traffic. We'll do a short game. It's going to load your city. The detail in the cities is not particularly interesting. So, uh, Paris, I remember, uh, which is on a different tape, or the other side of the tape, but Paris is, uh, they had a little Eiffel Tower. So they had some landmarks in there. I don't really remember any landmarks from San Francisco. 
fact, you've never been to San Francisco, other than, of course, the bridge. Yes, I know about the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz, right? Is that in San Francisco? Actually, I don't know if that's in San Francisco. I think it is. Sorry, my I should know much, much more geography than I do. So let's see. So let's see if they have the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. They've got that windy road, that super windy road. Uh, what else in San Francisco? Mm. I'm sure lots of other important things that I can't think of. Do, 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 do. Loading our city. Hope it's loading our city. I don't remember taking this long. Oh, yes, it does. Do you see a Golden Gate Bridge? I don't. Anyone from San Francisco? Any of that stuff look familiar? Put in the comments. This That must be the super windy road that's there. That makes sense. Anything else? All right, so there's my car. So I can little blue car there so I can drive around the city waiting for people to show up okay so there's a person so we pick them up now we go through here it's kind of some weird audio going on there red light oh person there we go More people. Oh. oh, I picked them up without uh, going through that red light. Oh, no. Kind of have to wait for that one. All right, we can go around here, though. Oh, car's in my way. Can I get by it? There we go. All right. I'm off. Person, drop them off. Something funky with the cassette recorder there. I'll show you the uh, red light. So I lost two bucks there. Ah. That red light got me. There we go. So this is actually, was actually a lot of fun with uh, two players racing each other as you're driving around the city and trying to pick up as many passengers as possible. It doesn't look that entertaining, but when you're playing against a friend and having that race, it's pretty fun. You'll see at the end when it shows the uh, score. If I crash, the sound goes away. Do a couple crashes here. Right there, we go. Just crash to get rid of the sound. Oh, time's up. So, there you can see uh, $17.80 plus uh, my tips, and I got one fine $21.50. And if you're competing against your friend, um, they would have their score too. So, that was pretty fun. And, like, I also said you could do co-op where uh, you had a combined
combined score, so you can, you can just go for trying to get a higher score. Sorry for that sound here. Let me uh, see if I can kick out of here. Ugh, sorry about that. We'll just close that out. Um, so, Taxi. Pretty great game for sort of a competitive uh, race for score. Um okay game for co-op and single player meh I mean you could go for your own personal best or something uh, so that could be a little entertaining um, I like it still like it I would play that with my with my daughter I would put on uh, probably start out with the co-op and then once she got a little bit better at it we would, could do some races or something um, is what it is right so that is taxi for the radio shack color computer hope you enjoyed this video